Right, hello everyone. Uh, today I will show you how to use HL Miner to construct a uh, multiple linear regression model uh, for predicting the house values. So the data set we use a Boston housing. Right, so you open the uh, data test, uh, the, the data set in uh, uh, Microsoft Excel uh, with the uh, add-in uh, software of HL Miner, uh, you uh, can uh, see the data, uh, uh, something like this, the column representing the variables uh, with the uh, target variable column medians uh, half value right here. Okay. So uh, the first step, uh, we're going to partition the data in two uh, subsets, uh, training data and validation data. So uh, how can we do that? Uh, first of all, we need to select the uh, variable, uh, the uh, data. Um, click in the uh, uh, first uh, cell right here and uh, you hold out the shift you click on the last cell right here that color select the uh, uh, data set uh, uh, we have uh, once you already select the data we go to the partition a standard partition um, so um, if data is not selected you can uh, have something uh, like this um, and you can select all the uh, data variables. So in this case, uh, we don't use the uh, variable cat dot uh, uh, map uh, because this one uh, is a uh, categorical, and we don't uh, use it in this example, right? Um, the uh, in order to partition the data, we use the pick up uh, row randomly. So with the random seed of one, two, three, four, five, that default, you can change this one. Uh, but to uh, be consistent uh, with the uh, uh, result of the, uh, the solution, uh, basically we use the, the same uh, random seed one, two, three, four, five, and the um, data can be select uh, a partition into a two parts: sixty percent for training and forty percent for validation. Basically, training has more data than uh, validation in order to capture all the uh, feature of the data set. Okay, click OK. Uh, after that, we can see that HL Miner create another uh, a data sheet. Uh, we call a, a data partition. We have a two part training data and a validation data. Okay, so the data records uh, have been selected randomly uh, based on the random sheet uh, we uh, selected before. Uh, once we have the data partition into um, subset training and validation, that we can construct the um, uh, data mining model multiple uh, linear regression. Right. Um. So we need to select the output variable. That's gonna be the target variable right here. In this example, I assume uh, we're gonna a. Uh, uh, Select a uh, three variables. Um, that could be a criminal, chess, and room. Okay. Uh, in the other example, I'm gonna show you how to select all the input variable and select the best subset. But in this uh, example, I assume that I can select only three uh, input variables to construct the uh, multiple linear regression model. All right. Um, and then we can select how to uh, display the information right once we uh, click uh, finish uh, you can see the uh, predictors have been using that could be a, a criminal chart and room intercept that basically the uh, uh, coefficient of the equation uh, next uh, parameter we're gonna see right here that could be input variable and coefficient so this one have been used to construct our, our linear uh, regression model so basically, uh, a medium how value is going to be uh, represented by the equation uh, minus 26.26, um, subtract 0 0.29 time with criminal, plus with 5.21 time with charge, and plus with 7.86 time with rule. Okay, so that's the linear regression model uh, of the um, uh, have been constructed based on the training data. Uh, once we construct this multiple linear regression model, we also evaluate uh, back into the training data and uh, we have the root mean square error 
uh, over all the uh, records in the chain is that zero point a uh, six point uh, fifty six that the order of the thousand dollar. For validation, uh, we also have the root mean square error of five point fifty two thousand uh, dollar. Okay, so that the uh, 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 multiple linear regression model representing using the uh, training data. Uh, we also have the uh, uh, training data uh, right here. You can see the uh, uh, more detail of the training data score uh, actual value right here. And uh, this is a predicted value right here. The residual right here basically that the difference between the actual uh, and the predicted one. This one subtract this one, you get this one. Uh, the same for the uh, uh, validation data set. We also have the uh, predicted one, the actual one, and the residual right here. Uh, we also have the uh, leaf chart uh, uh, plotted uh, for the training and for uh, validation as well. We have the uh, data mining model representing by the uh, uh, blue line and the uh, naive scheme or benchmark scheme that I represent the red over here. The same for validation, um, that will be the uh, multiple linear regression model we constructed in the naive schema here. Basically, we have a, a larger graph between the blue line, the red line will be uh, showing better performance. Um, we also uh, look at the adjusted R square here. Uh, so with the current uh, selection of the three variables, we have the adjusted R square 0 0.47, so not as high. Uh, it's implied that the information represented in the uh, selected variable uh, not as uh, uh, um, uh, much uh, for the target variable. So uh, in the next example, I'm gonna show you how to um, select a, a, a best subset of the variable in order to construct our model. Uh, with a, a better performance. Okay, um, I think that's it for this video. I will show you in, uh, I can uh, uh, see you in uh, uh, other video. Thank you.